1975, the Swedish pop group ABBA topped the charts with a song called Mamma Mia, and that song was turned into a jukebox musical in 1999. Over 60 million people have seen the show since its debut. It's grossed $2 billion worldwide, and they're going to have to add to that total because Mamma Mia is now at the Palace Theater in the Dells, and our Michael Bruno went backstage to check it out. Mamma Mia is about a single mother named Donna Sheridan who runs a taverna over here in gorgeous Greece, as you can tell by our set. Um, she has a daughter named Sophie who is about to get married. Sophie doesn't know who her father is, and Donna's kind of been keeping that a secret for all these years. She finally one night has given up on asking her mom, and she just reads her journal. She finds three possibilities of three men who could be her father. And she uh, sends out three letters signed from her mother to three potential fathers. So now that she's about to get married, all she wants to do is have her father walk her down the aisle as any young girl would want. But mom won't talk about it. Yeah, mom doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> mom, she's a little bitter still. <laughs> Unbeknownst to her, all three fathers show up at the same time on the same weekend of the wedding. Donna has to deal with seeing her old lovers for the first time in 21 years. The audience kind of has fun figuring out the mystery of who uh, Sophie's possible dad could be. Insanity ensues. And chaos ensues. And hilarity ensues. And then we end up in this, somehow. <laughs> Watch that scene. And talk to me about some of your wonderful choreography, because you put all the styles in there. My choreography? Yes, your choreography. Oh, well, so I was thinking of just making each number something different again, like, because, you know, I did Joseph as well here. And so this time I just wanted to almost give it that Broadway feel or the tour feel. So I would pull and I would watch, like, the tour or the Broadway versions on YouTube, but then I'd add some Joshography to it to, like, make it mine. So I think that's what we came up with, some of the most fun stuff that we had in the show. So. I am uh, Bill Austin. Bill Austin is an Australian chap, and he is uh, kind of the fun-loving dad of the three. He's the, he, you know, he's an adventure seeker. His job is he's a travel writer, and he travels all over the world. He's not big on commitment, and that comes into play much later in the show as well. I play Sam Carmichael. He's a New York architect, uh, recently divorced. He is the dad who has the biggest history with Donna, so we find out pretty quickly in the course of the show that uh, Sam and her have had a rocky uh, past, uh, kind of rockier than the other two dads, so him being uh, on the island is is not very comfortable for him because he knows when he sees Donna something's going down. Harry is a banker from London. He's kind of the heart of the show. He may not understand how to convey sympathy towards you or anything like that, but what he does know how to do is cheer you up and make you happy. Hopefully one of them will strike her and she'll see that, oh my God, it's my dad. She just wants it to be a moment, but it's not. And it goes throughout the whole show of her getting moments with different, um, different characters, different fathers at different times, different songs add in, and uh, she doesn't figure it out. And she's okay with it at the end because she realizes who she is and she doesn't need to find who her dad is to know who she is. It's hit after hit. It is oh. such a great show. <laughs> Hi, Michael. It's all Abba all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I mean, this is entertaining. It is entertaining. It, it starts it, to finish. It, it, for the it whole family, is. too. It, it's for, all fun for the whole family, and it's it, it's amazing how they can take all those songs and then weave it into the storyline. Yeah. Because all of a sudden you're, you're thinking, how are they going to make these songs into a plot line? But they, they really do an amazing job of doing that. Do you, is there ever any audience participation? Do people, like, get involved and sing, too? Uh, they, have, they have a sing-along. At the, at the mega mix at the end, oh, they can all sing fun. along, and the, the big screens come up, and they have the, the, the words, the, 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 the musical for the oh, words that's on there. Great. Yeah, it's really fun. And, and the Palace Theater, it's a, it's a dinner theater. It is a dinner theater, and they have wonderful options. You can, you can do the show only, and they also have a snack bar out in the, uh, in the lobby. But they also they change up the dinner with every show. So they have like a, a seasonal 
you know, a menu that they put in for each show. So they change it up really nice. They do a great job there. It's and the food's done there. by the time the performance starts. Yes. You yeah, want eating while they're yeah, no, <laughs> they, okay. they serve the food before the show and then they do the dessert during intermission. Okay. That's a great night out. It is a great yeah. night out. Yeah. Mamma Mia at the Palace Theater now through September 1st, all summer long. Go to dellspalace.tix.com. Next week? Uh, next week it's the Capitol Theater. <laughs> production of uh, uh, On the Town. <laughs> Great Dancing show. Sailors. Great show. All right. Have a good holiday <laughs> weekend, Michael. I need it. We'll <laughs> I'm exhausted. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast. <laughs>